If you've been around for a while, you know how much I love my lattes in the mornings, at work, while I'm traveling as a nightcap. It's a great way to wind down. It's a great form of self-care. It's a great way to comfort yourself because lattes are very comforting. There's also a lot of health benefits. It's super energizing and it can help you get that focus you want to have a very productive day if you drink specific types of lattes like matcha. And it is motivation for me to wake up in the morning as something to look forward to also motivation for me to clean as you guys have seen before so in this video we'll go over the anatomy of latte so that you know exactly what goes into a superfood latte and how easy it actually is to create your very own work of art the ingredients and their benefits and of course how to's for all the aforementioned lattes the normal versions as well as the on crack pastel version so let's first get started with the anatomy of lattes to start, you will pick your base, and this is what you absolutely need to make your lattes. A lot of things we talk about later you won't need, but this is the core, the foundation. You need one of these ingredients for you to make your latte. So what will it be? The second, pick your milk of choice. I've been loving whole milk and oat milk, and of course, hot water for the teas. Now we're getting into the optional zone. I prefer my matcha lattes unsweetened as there's already sweetness from the milk, but for other lattes, I usually reach for a scoop of natural sweeteners like black sugar, which is a common sweetener in Asia, but there's not as much here in the West. It's actually a much healthier option compared to white and brown sugar because it's unrefined and contains molasses, potassium, iron, calcium, and other minerals. It's also great for the time of the month, especially with ginger. I'll show you guys later in the video. There's also so honey, I prefer Manuka because of its antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. That's a lot of antis, but that's why it is an amazing little jar of sweetness or raw honey as it's generally more nutritious than processed honey. I'll link an article down below explaining the difference. There's also coconut sugar, which is another sugar alternative. It has a similar smoky malt-like taste to black sugar, which I love, but don't reach for quite as often as the rest because though it is less processed, processed and contain more nutrients than regular table sugar it's still sugar at the end of the day to me anything is better than processed sugar but sugar limit sugar intake in general and last we have our trusty maple syrup it contains nutrients minerals and antioxidants similar to coconut sugar and everything mentioned above it's still sugar but live a little and enjoy in moderation all right so all of these are definitely optional but life's short so why not have some fun so this first blue magic or spirulina powder is what makes drinks turn bright blue spirulina is a blue green algae high in protein vitamins minerals antioxidants and is anti-inflammatory it's one of the most nutrient dense foods on this planet blue magic is an extract of spirulina's pigment so it's not nearly as nutritious as spirulina but it's still pretty darn good for you collagen may be good for your skin hair nails and joint but i take it mostly for protein as i don't consume enough on a daily basis and did you know that there are two different types of cinnamon i'm not not as anal about my diet these days but back when i was a little health nazi i used to get this cylon cinnamon because it's better quality and safer compared to cassia cinnamon and there's coconut oil and ghee for some healthy fats in your diet if you don't consume enough fats in your daily diet and last but not least my favorite apricot kernel powder it's so good for your lungs helps with blood circulation and aids in weight loss and it tastes so good it's like taiwan asia's version of almond powder it's really awesome you can find almost all of these products at Thrive Market. If you're unfamiliar with Thrive, they're an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Along with most products I mentioned, you can find thousands of other organic foods and natural products for up to 30% below other retailers. Like this Roy Boast tea is usually over $7 at Whole Foods, but it's here for $5.50. And I know $1.50 isn't a lot, but guys, it adds up. You can search for products so easily and filter the category of products by your values and 
dietary preferences. So if you've been meaning to hop on that superfood latte train and are new to Thrive, they're offering 25% off your first order and a free 30-day trial. Link is in my description box below if you're interested. Now let's get to how we make these lattes, starting with matcha. Aside from its heart eye inducing pastel green hue, a scoop of this vibrant green powder is jam packed with antioxidants and nutrients. Matcha is also high in L theanine, an amino acid found in green tea because of how it's shade grown and harvested. It's a great source of calming energy without the jitters and drowsiness. It all depends on how the green tea leaves are grown, harvested, and processed. In short, the leaves of ceremonial grade matcha are usually shade grown, hand picked, and hand ground into a fine powder. This makes matcha far more nutrient dense and concentrated than green tea, most of which are highly processed. Now that we've covered the basics of matcha 101, let's get to what you came here for. Starting with the base, matcha. While I have time, I'll sift the matcha powder about this much through a tea strainer because matcha can clump easily. It really, the portion depends on how much caffeine you want or how much caffeine your body can take. I can't take too much. Add warm water and whisk with the bamboo whisk, the cha san, hopefully I'm saying that right, or you can whisk with a whisk whisk or put it in a milk frother or blend it in a high speed blender it's really up to you if you do use the bamboo whisk use your wrist not your elbows or arms whoops i think i used my arms in this and you whisk in a w shape fiercely this really helps add air to the matcha and make it nice and frothy ogs will drink and enjoy this right now matcha at its appears for Keep in mind, everything here is completely optional. There's coconut and ghee oil to make it even more thick and frothy, collagen for that bing bing skin and protein, and apricot kernel for that amaretto flavor and health. So you whisk it all together with a whisk whisk because I don't want to contaminate my precious cha san, cha san, cha san, cha cha san. <laughs> Pour into warm milk or a glass of cold milk with ice cubes. So beautiful enjoy you're welcome this is my daily latte daily drink next up rooibos tea rooibos tea is made from the leaves of a south african shrub it's caffeine free and packed with so many antioxidants i appreciate the warm and sweet woody scent of this tea it's so comforting and this tea for me is the definition of hygge and here's how I make it. I steep the tea bag in hot water for about five to six minutes or however long the package states. You can enjoy it as is right now or add your fancy powders and milk. I love it with collagen powder, apricot kernel powder, and milk. Because I want to get extra fancy and give it a pastel hue, I add a beet powder. Be careful not to add too much or else it'll actually taste like beet milk, which doesn't taste the best. But isn't this so pretty? I want to play around with more recipes to make a red velvet latte. Maybe in another video with like a chocolate rooibos tea. I actually have that. Maybe I'll try. Let me know if you guys want more videos. And here we have turmeric. Turmeric has been used in India for thousands of years as a spice and medicinal herb. Curcumin is the main active ingredient in turmeric and has a powerful anti-inflammatory effect and a lot of antioxidants as with I think like all of these teas have a lot of antioxidants. So the importance of antioxidants is that it helps counteract free radicals in your body, protecting cells and tissue from damage. According to a small study, curcumin is as effective as an antidepressant this is pretty impressive and because curcumin is poorly absorbed into the bloodstream it is recommended to add a dash of black pepper which helps the body enhance the absorption of curcumin by 2000 percent
Now we're moving to chai. Chai is a fragrant, spicy black tea from India, also known as masala chai. It's usually combined with ginger, black pepper, cinnamon, and other spices. It may help boost heart health, reduce blood sugar levels, aids digestion, and helps with weight loss. I personally found chai tea concentrates to be too sweet, so I prefer to make my own. And this is how I make it. Steep tea bag in hot water for however long it says you should steep it for add cinnamon and usually after this step i'll just add in the warm milk sweetener of choice and stir with a spoon or blend but because i wanted to get super fancy i wanted to make this blue because i needed something blue i added some blue magic spirulina powder to get it to turn into this electric blue color so that when i add milk magic happens and it turns into this beautiful pastel hue blue magic is definitely excessive it's pretty expensive i think this bottle was 60 dollars, but i feel that if spending a few extra dollars can encourage you to get creative and experiment with your food like this why not you know it's an investment in yourself it's an investment in your future your future self will thank you so for the acai latte i literally just blended acai in warm coconut milk and added honey this one was purely for that aesthetic so i'm not going to get too much into it but don't worry i got a bonus for you guys the ginger and black sugar tea this drink has been saving me every single month during that time of the month there are three ingredients brown sugar cane sugar and ginger powder i would much prefer the versions my mom used to get me this specific brown from taiwan that only has black sugar and ginger and i think this to them like the brown and the black is used interchangeably because the name in chinese on the package says hei tang so that's black sugar So for this, pour it in hot water, stir, let it cool because the water's gonna be piping hot if it's if it just boiled. Ginger generally aids with digestion. So during that time of the month, you're already bloated and the iron and the calcium in the black sugar helps lessen the cramping and the bloating and the uncomfortableness. So this is beautiful. It is magical so with all of that this was a very different video so please let me know what you think i haven't ventured out of my stress reset getting my life together type videos but i think it's time and i think with this it's uh, opening some new doors for me to see where i can go and if you guys have any ideas or suggestions or things you want to see please let me know down below and again remember thrive is offering 25 percent off your first order if you are interested in trying any of these products thank you guys so much for joining here is the biggest voice hug i love you every single one of you and i'll see you in the next video okay bye